Good morning, everyone. It's time for the New York Times Hard Sudoku from March 16th, 2024. If you guys came here from the world from today, welcome. And I'm hoping that this one is going to be a little less cumbersome than the previous two days. So I start usually by the top three rows. And I've got two fours in rows one and three. I can place a four in one of two spots in row two. Not there because the four in column six looks up. Now, without the 4, I've got 8, 5, 6, 7, 3, 9, 2 once each, so that's the only repeat digit I get. In the middle three rows, I've got a 1 and a 9 that I can place. These 1s will force a 1 in one of those two. Uh, these 9s, oh, they gave me all three 9s. How clever of them. But that usually means it's a hard grid. And then in the bottom three rows, the 3 is placed. Because there's threes in row seven and eight, there's only one spot for three in row nine that doesn't conflict. And the four can be in one of two places in row seven. And that's all I get. Now, if I switch to vertical scanning, I have eights in columns one and three. I can place an eight in column two. There are fours in columns two and three, so I can place a four in column one. If 8 and 4 are not there, I have 5, 1, 6, 9, 7, 3 once each. So I'm done there. The middle three columns, I have 5, 6, 2, 9, 3, 1, 4. So nothing happens there. And in the rightmost columns, I've got a 3 that I can place in column 7, and a 9 that I can place in column 7, but in a different box as compared to the 3s. Okay, so that's all I get, and the only place digit, after all that work, I get one lonely three. Now, I have to start looking. Now, this digit would be placed if any of those digits that weren't already in here were looking up, but that's not the case, so I have to look elsewhere. I need a 5 and an 8 in box 3, neither of which can go in these two cells because this 5 8 from row 1 looks over to the right. So 5 and 8 must be in these two cells. That means these two cells are 1 and whatever's left, 6. Now in turn, that's going to give me 1, 4, 5, 6, 8 in row 1. I need 2, 3, 7, and 9 to finish out the row. This particular cell sees 2, 3, and 9. This one must be a 7. Now, these two 7s in rows 1 and 2 will force a 7 in row 3 in one of two places. I still need 3, 7, and 9. Unfortunately, There we go. If I highlight these things green first, then I can put in that and, oh, I say one, four, five, six, eight. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I need two, three, and nine. Well, yeah, well, neither of these could be seven. That one can't be seven either, so I've left with a two, three, nine triple. Row one is complete. Column three now has five digits in it. Three, four, seven, eight, nine are placed. I need one, two, five, and six. This cell happens to see one and five in its box, six in its row. That's a hidden two. Okay, so this, ah, and now that's also a hidden digit. That sees 1 and 5, so that's a 6. 1 and 5 go in these two cells. This corner marked 1 is from one of those two in row 6. This cell can still obviously be a 1. So I haven't been able to rule that out just yet. Okay, what else do I have that's helpful? Column 7 has nothing in it. I've only identified a 5-8 to this point. 
Um, there are three cells left in box seven. Let me try there. I need seven, eight, and nine, which is a triple. That's not eight. But I get nothing else useful out of it. Uh, let me try column five. Two, three, seven, nine. I need one, four, five, six, eight. Unfortunately, that can be any of the remaining cells. Except five, six. Five in its box, six in its row. Uh, this is one, six, or eight. It can't be four or five, both of which see that cell. This one, I think, is anything but one. Okay, neither of these are four. And this C6, this C6, and also 1. Okay, so there's another 5, 8, but that doesn't interact with these. I think 4 and 6 both cross a region there. So that was not particularly helpful. Uh, row 5 has 1, 2, 7, 9 placed. Oh. I'm going to mark those two cells as hidden. And the reason I can say that, this 8 moves these cells out from me in 8. Okay. Uh, this 8, I thought, looked at, did some work also. Yeah, 1, 2, 7, 9. Well... These two cells can't be 8 because of the given 8. This cell can't be 8 because of 5, 8 pair looking at it. So 8 must be in one of those two cells, and therefore this cell cannot be 8 because it's in the same box. I need 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8 for row 5. No, those can't be 8, and that's not 5, and that's not 4 or 6. Let's see, this is 3, 4, or 6 only, because 5, 8 both look at it. But I haven't discerned for 8 in column 5 whether it's in that box or that one. Uh, column 8 might be helpful. 1, 3, 4, 7, 9 are placed. I need 2, 5, 6, and 8. This can be any of them. That cell is not 8. Oh, this one sees 2, 5, and 6. That's a hidden 8. Okay, so this is not 8, and that's an 8, and therefore I'm left with a 7, 9 pair in box 7. This is not 8 of this 8 looking at it. This 8. Well, this could be 8. Uh, we know that's not 8. So, this is a... That's a triple. Uh, this cell was incorrectly marked. Excuse me. <coughs> can be in any of those three cells. That's irritating. Yeah, I still have nothing in column 7. Okay, what's left in row 7? 2, 3, 5, 6, 8 are placed. I need 1, 4, 7, and 9. Oh, this sees 1 and 4. So that's 7 and 9, which means I can get rid of the corner mark 4s here because those are 1 and 4. And that row is complete. This one sees 3, 4, 6, 8. 1, 5, 7, 9, along with 2. Uh, that's anything. 1, 5, 7, 9, along with 2. Well, this sees a 1, 4 pair in its box, a 5, 8 pair in its row. So 1, 2, 5, 7, 9. 1's ruled out. 5 is ruled out. This is 2, 7, or 9. 
Okay, so five is one of those two. And row eight. This ends up as one, four, five. Well, it can't be four because there's a four looking at it. Well, oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I didn't expect that was a hidden one, five pair. But that sees two, seven, and nine. Yeah, I didn't think that was a hidden one five. I missed the seven from here. And that could never be one. Okay, so this can't be one. This can't be one because of that given. So one's in there. But we knew that already. Let's see, in column nine. I need one, four, five, six, seven, but I haven't placed an eight yet, but this can't be eight, so one of those two, which is hidden. Must be eight. Yeah, eight can't go here. Eight can't go here. Is it this eight looking at it? So it's not there. It's not here because of this 8 looking at it, so let me remove that cell because that's not 8. This is an 8. Okay, 2, 3, 8, 9. I need 1, 4, 5, 6, 7 for column 9. That's anything but 1. That's 5, 6, or 7. It cannot be 1 or 4. Okay, this cell is not 1... 3, 4, 5, 8. So this is strictly 2, 6, 7, 9. Uh, these two cells are not 1, 5, 8, 9. So those are from 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. That's not particularly helpful. What's left? I could do row 9. There's only two cells left to fill in that. Uh, these are not 1, 3, 4, 6. Because they're in different columns, I have to look at the row in the box. So they are from 2, 5, 7, 8, 9 to start, and that's not 5. But that's all the help I get. Okay, what's left in column one? One, one, five, eight are spoken for. Uh, let me do these ones because one, four, five, six, eight are taken out of those. So those are from two, three, seven, nine. That's not three, seven. That's not two, nine. This one is not one, two. Five, seven, eight, nine. This ends up as three, four, six. Uh, well, let's see. This can't be two because of the given in the box. Uh, this one, oh, nah, I knew I was missing a digit. That could still be two. Three crosses the region. Okay, these can't be four because of this. Four's there. Uh, in other words, we know something already. Okay. Uh, this one, in terms of even digits, can only be two. Uh, we can't even be that. So that one's left with nothing but odd digits. But I think anything but nine is possible. Okay, these two could be two. It's the only even digit. But four, six, seven, eight, nine are spoken for. So I'm left with one, three, five. Um, okay, does that seem right? Oh, well, wait a minute. 
Okay, what I should have seen was those two sixes and these two fours both interact. The only place for four or six is here. That's a hidden four six pair, which I also could have seen from column one. Okay, now this looks right. Uh, this can't be three, okay. So, there's a hidden three in those cells, because this can't be three because of that given, and this, oh boy, these can't be three, because four and six were restricted specifically to these two cells in the box. This can't be three because of that. Three must be here, and therefore cannot be there. So one of those must be three. Unfortunately, I think I'm done with box four as being helpful. There needs to be some other type of hidden digit somewhere. changing the color scheme is going to help any. I'm just worried about can you read that. Uh, what's left? Not much. Okay, these two digits are the only ones that I haven't filled out in row 6 yet. Neither of them can be 1, 2, 8, 9. So they are from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That one can't be one, two, five, six, eight, nine. So this is strictly three, four, seven. Wait a minute, that's three, four, eight. If this was three, four, seven, I would go a long way towards identifying the other digits. Okay, these two cells are the only ones left. Row two. They cannot be three, five, six, seven. So they are from one, two, four, eight, nine. And these two digits are not two, four, five, seven, nine. So they are one, three, six, or eight. Those aren't one, that's not six. This is down to a two. Oh, wait, there's a seven there. Erg. Hmm. Okay, I've got four here. Do I have any other digits restricted? Six is in one of these two. Uh, that's not hopeful. Here, we know that. Yeah, 
a lot of hidden aids. Let's see. Um, okay, six must be one of their. Five crosses a region in row five. That's not helpful. All right, what, what, what am I not seeing here? I haven't made one out of any two of these four cells, have I? Nope. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's a hidden 1 5 pair right there. Right, these can't, none of these can be 1 or 5 because of those two cells. This can't be 1 or 5 because of this given 5 and the 1 6 pair looking over. So these cells can't be 1 or 5. This is a hidden 1 5 pair. So crucially, that cell's not 7. This cell must be. That's a three. Okay, seven makes nine, seven. Uh, nine comes up, makes this two, nine. I guess he's not a three, that's a two. So none of these are two. See, this one five doesn't do much else, but this nine means that cell's not 9. This one is in box 9. And now I have the 9 in column 7. Uh, 7 looks here, looks over. That's a 9. So these are not 9. And neither is that. And this also can't be 2, because I just placed the 2 at it. 9 in column 6 looks up. That's an 8. 5. 8. H ruled out of all 5 of these cells. And here and here. Um, that's not helpful. Oh, this eight because this can't be eight, and eight was in one of those two cells. This cell must be eight. In row five, therefore, this cell down at the bottom of column four is not eight, which tells me that's an eight. Okay, now that clearly did a lot of work, I think. Yep, two's in one of these two. As soon as I figure out really any one of these, because I've got a one, two, five, six, seven hidden quad, both in row eight and nine. Excuse me. <coughs> and if I see any one of these digits, the rest of both of those rows are gonna collapse now. 5 in row 2 looks over. This is 1. That's a 5. So that's 3. Uh, this can't be 3 or 5. That's a 2. This is 1. That's a 5. 3 means this is not 3. Crucially, that can't be 3, but there's a 4, 6 pair in row 5, which makes this a 5. That's 7. 2, 1, 5. Um, one in row two looks over, four, nine, the one in column four looks up, three, six, one, yeah, I think it's collapsed at this point, four, seven, pair here makes this one six, that's a three, uh, this has a six looking over, four, six, seven, four, four. Okay, this cell can't be three because of that. So there's the three in a row. That's a five to finish the row. 
not three, four, not five. That one sees four and five from the row. Okay, this is a two, six, seven triple. It doesn't quite resolve yet, but it won't take very long because four in the column looks down. One, four. This has a five looking at it from its left in row eight, so that places seven, six, two, seven, two, five, six, one, six, and there we go. Yeah. 25 minutes. Not terrible. Could I have done this in 20 if I hadn't explained it so much? Probably. But I put in all these dark magenta things to indicate all the hidden digits that I found. I think the key to the rest of the puzzle, once I initially got stuck, was this 4-6 hidden pair right here. So what I'll do is I'll mark this in something else, like light blue. If I hadn't found that 4-6 hidden pair in column 1, I'd have been stuck. But thank you for joining me this morning.